What up, music world, music kids out there? I am back for a little short review. I'll try to keep it short because I'm actually going to... Um, the review is about um, Monica's singles that she just um, released. Not just released, um, but she's been releasing two. She released two um, so far. One, The Commitment and Me Plus You. Um, but I wanted to get into The Family Hustle as well. Um, so it might be, this video might be long because there's so much stuff that I want to say about that. Um, because if y'all, if you've been following her career, um, um, you, I know some of you might be familiar with, she had a show on BET, um, and then Tiny and Toya had one too on BET. So they they're not new to the reality TV, um, uh, production. Like they're not new to reality TV. They've already had previous, um, shows. Um, but I want to get into a family hustle because, um, and I'm not going to go on about everybody. I just want to, cause this is Monica's review. Um, cause I review music. So, and she does music on there and so does Tiny, but she hasn't released them just yet. But I know she's working on the album. So when the album is released, that's when I'm going to get into her stuff. And Monica, of course, is going to have something released. So I'll do a review, come back and do a review on that. But um, I just want to talk about her situation because, as we all know, she's going through a divorce right now. Um but it's so crazy how I see so much of me in her. And um, and I'm not saying this in like a demonic, like, oh, all praise. Like, I don't worship celebrities or anything. And I actually don't. She is a celebrity. Technically, she's a celebrity. But a lot of people who have met her, they would tell you, you know, she's really cool and down to earth and humble. And she even shows that it, it comes off on um, through TV. Um, but, um, when she, so the TV show, um, first of all, both of her singles are dope. I can't wait for her album. Like, I know it's just going to be crazy because she's done been through a lot. So I already know this album is going to be crazy. Um, the last two, um, cause I'm just thinking about her most recent albums. The last two don't like, you can just play those all the way through. And that's not like sometimes when artists, take a, like a hiatus and, you know, they go through life and they do writing and they're gone for a long time. Sometimes they come back and I'm like, mm, it's okay, but I'm only feeling two songs, but not with her. Like she's been grinding and doing her thing and she's come back with albums that I can play all the way through. So I haven't been disappointed with albums that she's released. Um, but what else was I going to say? Um, I forgot. What am I getting into? Um, what was I going to say? Yeah. So, um, yeah, her two singles are dope, Commitment and Me Plus You. Um, but I wanted to talk about her being on Family Hustle because now, you know, they're incorporating LaToya, Toya, and Monica. Like, it's not just T.I. and his family no more. But I like Monica... Not more than everybody, but I relate to her a little bit more. But I have, I think we can all find something that we can relate to in each of the families. Um, but Monica mainly, because I, like I said, I see a lot of myself in her. She's very, like, seems down to earth and humble and giving and caring and just giving all of herself into everybody and always making sure everybody's good, but you forget about yourself. That's me all day long. Like, I've had to like kind of leave people alone and stop, you know, being around that like friendships have like I've kind of let go because for me in my mind, I felt like I was being more of a friend to people than they were with me. And that happens to a lot of us who have like big hearts and we want to make sure everybody's good and you know, we always checking on everybody, but everybody sees people like us is like, oh, they got it because, you know, they they always doing this and they always helping people. They got it. Ain't nothing wrong with them. They perfect. They just living their best life. And no, we be the main ones hurt. Like, girl, like, check on us. Like, I know y'all see the um, 
the memes that be saying like check on your strong friend or something like that and i think people forget to do that because they think that we have it all together and um that we just we're just these perfect people and you know and i think social media also exudes that too like we're always looking on social media and you know relationship goals and everybody seems to have it together and we don't know that uh, the majority of people on social media, they falling apart. They faking the funk. Like, the, they not living their best life. Some A lot of stuff they done leased and rented. Like, d don't let social media fool you. I think a lot of people get too involved in that. Like, I be seeing people going back and forth writing paragraphs under um, celebrities' posts and stuff. I'm like, y'all really arguing with each other and you don't even know each other like that. But we got to be right. We got to, you know, think that our opinions matter and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to talk about her on um, family hustle because like I said, like that's how I am. Like I'm, I'm the one out of the group of people who I consider friends that always making sure everybody's good. And, you know, and sometimes people uh, let you keep, you know, being that good friend, but they won't give back. They won't, they won't do, they don't think that they, you know, they don't feel like it's like you gotta say and I hate when people say well you gotta tell those people that because sometimes people don't realize they think oh you're doing it because you want to yeah you help people and care for people because you do it out of the kindness of your heart but at the same time you don't you gotta is the other person on the other end you have to look at it like dang like she always there for me she always there. let me make sure she's good let me make sure she don't need nothing like and that don't happen a lot of times some people just be like well I'm going to just keep letting them, you know, you paying this and you paying that and you doing all this for me. I'm just let them keep doing it. So some people don't care. They'll just let you. So you have to have that strongness about you. And then when her boys were shown on, because I don't think, um, I know we saw them, you know, all of her kids grow up, whether it be on social media and, um, on um, her reality show she had by herself on BET. And now I saw them on um, VH1. And I was just telling my mom, I, I told my mom, something's wrong with me. Like, I need to go get help or something. Because I got emotional. Like, I was for real crying tears when I saw her boys on there talking to King. Because we done seen them grow up. on. T I may not personally know them, but sometimes you ain't got to personally know people when you done watch them like grow up on TV and stuff like that. So I was telling my mom, I got emotional because one of her, I think it's her oldest son. He reminds me of my nephew. Like they look similar. Like I'm not saying they look exactly alike, but they're, they look similar to me. So I told my mom, I think it's why I got emotional or whatever. Cause now my nephew's like grown. Like last time I talked to him, it was like, yeah. And I'll be, I'll be like, Where's this voice coming from? So it's emotional. And I'm not no mother or nothing like that, but I got a lot of little cousins and nephews and nieces. So um, I just been with them through, whether it be labor and delivery with their parents up to like their age now. So it's just an emotional thing that happened. But yeah, when I saw them on TV, I just immediately started crying. I was like, why am I crying for it? I don't know these boys. Like, I don't personally know these people. Why am I crying for her? But I literally cried when I saw her boys on there. And her little girl, she cracks me up because she reminds me of my um, little cousins and nieces. They sassy. They, they smart. They real smart and intelli intelligent and grown for their age. Like, old folks be saying, this child done been here before. Like, she, she's she got that mature spirit about her. That old soul, like Monica said. But she's very smart and intelligent. But she cracks me up, girl. But, um, yeah, but I was just wanting to talk about that because I was like, dang, I feel you, Monica. I feel you, girl. Like, we, I, I feel you. Like, you be, you got to be strong for everybody, but you ain't being strong for yourself. You make sure everybody's good, but are you really checking for yourself? And, you know, mental health is starting to become, I mean, everybody's always, and I have a video on that, too, if y'all want to check it out. I'm um, kind of giving a little backstory of, like, my mental health Um from the time I think like, like, uh, elementary to like up to now, like, um, just, I was talking about that on another video. So if you want to check that out, you can. Um, but you know, 
mental health, like people are starting to, you know, now that social media is out there and we have more platforms to, you know, voice our views and opinions about it, people are starting to be more open and talk about it and stuff like that. So that's a good thing. But I think it's so important that you have, and I'm talking to myself, that we take care of ourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually, um, especially in this crazy-ass world that we live in, like, child. That's why I sometimes don't like getting on social media because it's, like, overwhelming. Like, you, you seeing black people being harassed and shot and and no justice is served, and that messes with you. And then they cut, and then taxes are getting high, and food is getting high, gas is getting high, and then you got your family going through stuff, and it's like you carrying it, or at least I do. I worry about my family and stuff and friends, and I carry that, and, you know, we just need to sometimes be like, okay, girl, you can't, say, you can't save everybody. You can't cape for everybody. You just got to... Keep them in spirit, pray for them, and, you know, worry about you. But because that messes with you mentally, too, if you try to carry, because I said on my other video where I was talking about mental health, that you can, pe you'll have people that just call you or contact you, or when you're around them, they talk about themselves, they talk about what they're going through. But when you bring up your issues it's like oh but anyways like they don't care forget what you're going through they want to vent to you and I used to have friends like that and I would carry everything that they was going through I'm like what am I doing like I, I'm losing sleep because of this and stuff like that because I'm concerned when they tell me stuff because I don't know there's something about me but I have complete strangers because I used to be in customer service too but I would have older people are just people in general just tell me like their business like personal stuff and I'm like I, I can't don't tell me that because now you're gonna have me worried about like I'm I don't know I'm just a caring person that is concerned for other people um but yeah I just want to talk I know I this is a little bit I made it more a little bit about me but I just want to come on here you know and talk about her two singles and the family hustle and things of that nature um but yeah, I can totally relate to what how Monica feels. Not as far as like a divorce and stuff like, cause I'm not married, don't have kids or nothing like that. But I'm just saying, as being a friend and a giving and caring person, I can relate to her on that level. Um, but yeah, I love the show. I, it's hilarious. Oh my gosh, I'm glad that they added them on there. But it's hilarious to me. It's a good show. Um, hopefully they'll come back with another season. But it's just funny to me. Um, but yeah, if y'all ain't checked it out, it comes on Mondays, I believe. I don't know. Y'all gonna have to check on VH1 because I don't want to be wrong. And I think it comes on at 8 or 9 or something like that. I don't be paying attention. But it comes on VH1. Great, great show. Not, it's very like real. Like they dealing with regular family issues. Like, because I think this is good because people look at these celebrities like, oh, you perfect and you got money. So you should be able, like, we have this perception of them. And on this real on this show, they're just saying like, hey, we go through losing people. We go through deaths. We go through ups and downs and marriages and um, finances and our parents and our other siblings and stuff like, like we people too. Like, you know, so I think that's why I like this show. Um, but yeah, I thank y'all for listening to me ramble on. <laughs> um, but yeah, check her commitment and uh, Me Plus You singles are out now. I love both of them and I can't wait for the album. I done seen her twice, I think in concert. Yeah, um, and I went to the one in Atlanta for my birthday for New Year's Eve. Fire. Yeah, but I went to that one. So I've seen her a total of twice, but it'll be more times later in the future. Um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. Uh, check out my other videos. Like I said, the recent one I did, I was talking about my mental health story. And yeah, comment below. Tell me what y'all think about the two singles and the family hustle. It don't have to just be about Bonica because, um, you know, everybody, you know, T.I. just lost his sister. Um uh, Toya's, you know, getting herself back in order after having a baby and, you know, she's was on the green leaf and she's trying to get back into her music and then tiny, she's getting back into music. 
king, there's um, T.I. and Tiny's son. They're trying to get back. He's trying to get into, he is in music. Um, Zanique, she's working, I believe, on a project or something. Um, who else am I missing? Uh, I talked about Monica. Toya, you know, she has her situation. Again, if y'all followed her on um T Toya and Tiny on BET, then you you're familiar with her relationship with her siblings and her um her mother. Like so that's on there. And um yeah, everybody just got their situations going on there. Um, but yeah, I thank y'all for watching and comment below again on um whatever about Family Hustle and Monica's two singles. And yeah, I'll see y'all on some other reviews. Thanks, bye.